Welcome back guys Today I have a very huge box Let's put this away By the way, thank you again CDS Cycles for lending me this huge box So I don't know if it's inverted or not in your in your in the image, but this is a GT uh, bicycle box, and inside it, GT Avalanche frame. Put it out. Here we have the GT Avalanche frame comp, so I have to be very careful as I only borrowed this one. Let's fix the camera. So in the box is the GT uh, Avalanche frame so this color is red um, but I also have the aqua blue color the aqua blue so I'll be using the red one for the frame check So according to GD, this is, a, this is a triple triangle design. So the first triangle I guess would be this. The second would be this rear triangle. And I guess the third one, I'm not sure, maybe this. This uh, small triangle here. So this is a medium size uh, frame. It's a 29er uh, frame. Uh, it has a tapered head tube, so you can put a straight, uh, a straight, uh, what do you call this? Straight tube fork or a tapered fork here. It's a threaded BB 135 mm QR rear axle, and this one. The seat post size is a 30.9 diameter, so you can buy a giant dropper seat post and put it here, but it will be an external dropper seat post. So it is complete with the, uh, uh, what do you call this? It's a, yeah, cable guides. Uh, so this is an external uh, cable routing frame, by the way. So and it does include cable uh, clamp guides going to the back, and you can put two bottle cages here on the seat below the seat tube and the uh, uh, bottom tube. I think this is called the bottom tube. So. This frame has four colors, this one red, the blue, the black, and the gray. Huh. So it also has a post, uh, what they called it, I think a post mount uh, for the disc brake. They say it's 
uh, it is better for braking, more power and more consistent uh, braking on the rotors. It also uh, comes with a seat clamp already and a uh, driller hanger which is uh, also uh, replaceable. So if you break this, uh, you can buy a, a driller hanger only and put it inside. So there's a bolt at the back of it so you can uh, replace it. So let's um, weigh this. Uh, I don't have a hanging weighing scale but I do have a regular weighing scale like in the palenque so this is my scale it's very dirty got it from the warehouse so I'll put the plastic first so I hope this won't fall So, I don't know, maybe I'm measuring it the wrong way. How should I measure it? It's saying it's only, it only weighs. So according to this, it only weighs 2.5 kilos, but I think this is the wrong way to uh, weigh the bike frame as it doesn't, re I don't know, it, does it, it really does weigh all the parts. So according to this, this is only 2.5 kilos. So we'll have to check. Uh, uh, on the the website if it's available there so there you have it so again this is a 29er uh, mountain bike XC uh, frame okay. the, oh by the way this is only 12,000 pesos uh, a good upgrade uh, if you have a generic uh, bike with no brand or uh, coming from a old they call it bakal frame which is very heavy and you want to up upgrade into a lighter frame so GT brand is one of the best brands uh, in the market uh, the Atherton uh, racing team family uh, used to ride for GT bicycles so um, I think that's it for this frame uh, and for the frame check please like share comment and subscribe uh, on my channel so I can make more videos uh, by the way, please, uh, if you are interested, please contact CDS Cycles. I will put uh, the link down in the description so you can uh, check their page and contact them. I think uh, they can do a discount for this one since the price is uh, 12,000 SRP. Uh, I know they do give some discounts. Uh, so you have to contact them okay so until next time i'll see you on my next uh, video